Welcome to Texas Talks with your host, Greer Mackey. Today we're going to be talking about a recent decision made by Governor Greg Abbott regarding COVID and being in the pandemic. Um, starting on March 10th, 2021, he is going to be removing the mandatory mask mandate and allowing businesses to operate at a full 100% capacity. People like GOP Chair Alan West were some of the few pushing to go have this done. Um, basically, they are trying to do this to help the Texas economy grow back to normal since the start of the pandemic and the challenges that a lot of small business owners have faced, as well as give back the right and responsibility of the people to wear their own mask on their own terms and hope that they'll do it without having um, mandatory laws making them do so. A quote by Abbott is, Too many Texans have been sidelined from unemployment benefits. Too many small business owners have struggled to pay their bills. This must end and is now time to open Texas 100%. He's very prideful over Texas Day, as of the rest of us are. Um, along with that, and that being said, this also makes Texas the largest state population to go without a mask mandate. Um, we have also, the state has also experienced two case surges since the start of the virus about a year ago. One following Thanksgiving in December and then one following Christmas in January. Um, this has kind of affected us drastically. Out of our 29 million residents in the state, about 2.72 million cases were involved in over, sadly, 46,000 Texans lost their lives due to this. Um, as well as Texas is also one of the l states with the lowest vaccinated rates of people. According to the CDC's vaccine tracker, these are the other 50 states and Texas falls around down here. About 17.6% of the population has had one vaccine and about 9% has had the completed vaccination. Um, contrary to the mask mandate, however, a lot of people and a majority of Texans believe that we need to prioritize curbing and stopping the coronavirus over helping the economy. Um, back last February, the Texas, the Texas Politics Project did a poll regarding their feelings towards it, and about 43% chose to preserve the economy, while 47% of Texans chose to prioritize and fixing and ending the coronavirus. When looking at political affiliations and their views towards that, 72% of Republicans voted towards the economy, as well as 82% of the Democrats prioritized the coronavirus. Um, our city of Houston also became the first in the entire nation to record all COVID variants of the virus, including strains from the Brazil, from the United Kingdom, and from South Africa. Um, according to our James Huffins, a former bank executive from Abbott as chair of the strike force, he also basically informed us that every time that Greg Abbott makes a decision regarding um, the state and everything with coronavirus, he goes through professional medical advisors and gets their word before enacting any... <clears throat> This has been a little conflicting amongst the residents because he did not talk to three out of the four advisors prior to making this decision, as well as the fourth one did not explicitly say that it was a good idea to do this right now. Um, also, it's been a little difficult in Texas. We have had a disproportionate distribution of vaccines across our state. Certain areas that have more facilities like hospitals that can contain and hold the vaccines to distribute have received more, like in counties like Gillespie, where they have 52% of vaccines, versus county like Lee, where they have only 8%, and they have more just smaller pharmacies that can hold less vaccines. Um, we've also seen a correlating death cause in those areas, with the areas with less vaccines have more deaths than the areas that have more vaccines. Um, this has been a little conflicting for some. However, the Department of State officials have allowed for people to travel from multiple counties to go and go get the vaccine. So you do not need to remain in your county to get the vaccine. 
However, the only thing that they ask from you is that you please go cancel the last appointment at the other one so someone else may be able to take, take over that vaccine. Some people we want to look at here is our resident Matthew McConaughey spotted wearing a mask and in, this is from a video tutorial on how to make a mask. As well as we are wearing a mask right now. Masks are proven to help curb and stop the spread of the coronavirus and have been enacted since last summer.